So this song is for an audience of one, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> let's, right. see if it, let's see if it works. <laughs> When you're on the Ramblecast and you don't have anything to say, <laughs> all the things come to you. I'm this, I, everyone out there, I did not practice this at all. <laughs> and I want to feel it too. On an island in the sun, or I should have said, on the ramble cast tonight. Anyway, easy song. I, I noticed Chris was going to back get his dead headphones when you started singing. Yeah, exactly. I think it's your best one yet, but That's, you know, Chris. Yeah. Can you it hear could us, Chris? Have, it, it could have been if I, uh, <laughs> if I actually had practiced it a little bit. Sure, he said, oh, a song. Yeah. Chris, you're muted, and I guess he's still fiddling with his headset. Yes. Anyhow, Matt's away at least at least this week, maybe a second week. We're not sure yet. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, and then uh, my house is currently fifty degrees. So yeah, yeah. Did you get the pipes? Did you get the pipes fixed or get that whole thing taken nothing, care of? No, nah, nothing's fixed. Yeah, they like, did, uh, did. They did. They come out and uh, look at it. I've had several different people come out. Like, so last Monday, the first plumber came out and he's like, yeah, this is beyond me. And so he, he recommended another guy he knew who was like a boiler slash radiator ex expert. Well, at, least he, at least he was honest. Yeah. And, uh, so that guy came out later that afternoon and, uh, I was telling him how like the, uh, you know, restorers were going to be out the next day. So he's like, okay, I'll right. come back in the morning. And he installed a few ball valves around the boiler to let like remaining water in the pipes drain out. And, uh, and then he kind of got on to uh, the restorers like, Hey, like, you know, like you need to put some heaters in here so we can thaw out the rest of the pipes and all these things. And then I haven't heard from them since. Uh, really? The restorers anyhow, like the, the boiler guy is pretty good. And then the, the insurance company has called me a few times like with updates. And then some people come out today to take, my uh, personal items that were damaged, you know, to see if they can fix them, like a few rugs and some frame stuff. And, and then they'll get back to me. But uh, and your, I'm definitely... your, Lego, your Legos, they all survived. I it know was... the box didn't. Yeah. Like that was the only one that was damaged. Like it was just the, the big millennium Falcon that I had sitting down there in the box unopened. But I definitely loved the guy that came because he was like, Oh, he goes, so I see you had this Lego, but it was unopened. So I'm going to assume that was a collectible that you weren't going to open. And I just kind of, oh, really? He's like, yeah. So I would say that, yeah, you can get you another one of those. And then this is one that you can just play with. <laughs> I was wow. Like, I, I like you. <laughs> you know? Well, how old did he think you were that you were going to play with it? Well, we're, he was roughly uh, a couple years older than me, you know, but. Uh, you can uh, play with it. Yeah. But uh, you know, he was, yeah, he was, he was digging some of the stuff I had. So he, he Lord was, Helmet, were you playing with your dolls again? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Action figure. I just yeah. I, I just watched the Seinfeld episode <laughs> season nine where he, he gets the girl uh, uh, drugs her and so he can play with the toy collection. <laughs> but yeah, and then yeah, it's cool. You know, and then I have a look at a couple of floor heaters and, and that I kind of stick in here in the office or near my chair when I'm watching TV and and get the fireplace going. So it's it, it can get the highest I've had it so far is fifty five. So you have a, you have a real fireplace, right? It's a gas fireplace, not a uh, fireplace. We, we have a gas one. I won't. I don't even turn it on. Yeah, it it it, it puts a, enough heat out right there in that area, but it's never going like, to heat the house. What it does for us is it heats upstairs. Mm. Downstairs is cold. You smell the gas, and mm. upstairs is baking. I go. I don't think. We, I don't think we've turned it on in seven or eight years. Yeah, I like. And, I like a real fireplace. I like to burn stuff. <laughs> yeah, we know you do, Jack. Yeah, you know, the house burns down, it burns down. That's part of life. But uh, yeah, I don't like the gas fireplace. That's where they have it. It's on the side of the, here's the living room. Then you have the bonus room. It's on this, in between the bonus room and the uh, living room. I go, what the hell? So stupid. Of course, we bought the house. You know, I we bought the house. We were still in San Diego when we bought the house. So it was like, I mean, Cindy had seen it, but I had never seen it. 
I mean, it's it's weird to, in today's days though because I, you know. Um, if you live in Tennessee, North Carolina, or south of there, you don't even need a fireplace, really. Like, you, if you ha- if you light a fire, it's for for looks, you know, or it's Christmas Day or something. What are you talking about? Sometimes it gets, you know, it gets cold. It was ten degrees here three weeks ago. No, and then it's going to be seventy this week, right? Uh, 69, 70, <laughs> see, see? and then back down to the fo- back down to the fifties. It's no, I, I keep telling San Diego, I don't think we're getting snow. I guess yeah, we have we snow. We had snow. Right. So for the first time this year, like this week, and it's just been like a dusting, which is kind of nice to see, but we haven't gotten shit. Yeah, we had some snow flurries because when I moved out here, anytime there's a thunderstorm in the wintertime, they say within 10 days you'll have snow. And I'm like going, okay, I'm waiting. So the 10th day, All right, we got just snow some... flurries. I go, I go, does that count? That's wow. And my wife goes, that counts. I go, that's bullshit. I go, I want snow if we're going to get snow. But anyway. I like it once a year. I like, it, I like it good where it sticks to the ground. And we first moved here, we had snow, we had ice that, you know, we couldn't get, we couldn't move our car because it was so bad. Anyway, the Dallas Kickers missed three extra points. I mean, Come on. can you call yourself a professional if you're missing that many kicks? You're getting paid. I, I I know I was sure. watching the Manning the Manning cast when uh, they scored the first touchdown the kicker missed and they had Deion Sanders on he goes really that's your only job is to kick extra points so your, only job. your only now job now he's missed now he's missed three someone's got the under Ray Finkel do you <clears> see <throat> the guy that bet on the Charger game the Charger oh yeah though twenty seven nothing he bet one point four million. To win eleven thousand, I go to okay. win eleven grand. Like what? Yeah, you I said. Doing? I go first. You're an idiot. Who bets eleven one point four million to win eleven thousand dollars? He came out of course, He uh, no, he lost. Oh no, he, oh he lost. He no, lost. he right, bet. Right. He bet at the half. Yeah, on the on a one point whatever million dollars in the Chargers at the half, which that w- would win. They should have won. <laughs> like, well, they should have fucking obviously. Won. It's what's that old that, that saying? You're new here. You must be new. Here. You must be new here. <laughs> yeah, Murphy's Law. You know, it's just like, I mean, again, I I I was watching. Well, I watched some of the game, then I watched an Aztec game, then I watched the end of the game. And I'm like going, I go, they could lose this game. I and if I was if, watching it at the half, I was like, this is boring. <laughs> I went to bed. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> they this fucking if this, lost. If I had still been a Charger fan, You'd have things lost would have been mind. broken. I would have been in a bad mood. It's like yeah. the New, Eng- New England game in 2006, seventh season. I'm still not over that game. It yeah. still makes me mad. But now that I'm no longer a Charger fan, them losing was like winning the Super Bowl. And people go, I don't know how you can do that. Be so diehard one minute. I go, because I'm a loyal person and you stabbed me in the back. Yeah. So don't ask me to be loyal. But yeah, they choked it away. I, I was just Charger fans were on the. I'm no longer gonna watch them anymore. <laughs> well, no, no kidding. <laughs> well, obviously they, they, they said I'm I'm no longer a fan. It's a waste of time. They they think they're gonna. They keep saying we're gonna get um, um, uh, Sean Payton. I'm like, no, you're not. The Chargers never go out and hire a big name coach because they don't want. They want coaches they can push around. Not coaches that are going to argue with them, and and they're not going to pay the money. So right. anyway, they're going to stick with Staley another year, and poor Herbert's career is going to go down the drain, like <clears throat> Rivers' career did before that, and yeah, every other quarterback. But no, I, I enjoyed the game, and playoffs have been pretty good so far. I thought. Did you watch the uh, <clears throat> the college national championship? I, you know, I was I was podcasting, and by the time I got to the game, it was like. Seven to forty something. I go. Three. All right, I'm yeah. done. And you, you want it? You want to, as, as a as a fan? You know, I, I I root for San Diego State. You want to see these small college teams? You know, not TCU is not a small, but you know they're not in the they're not you know yeah. one of the big boys. You want them to see not they just they don't have to win, but put up a good showing. But my God, it was like Jesus. It was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got there, but to lose they that got way, there. they shouldn't have been there. No. Well, they got there. I mean, they, they you, you got to put some of these well, smaller schools in there. Yeah, well, that's that was the argument though with a lot of people was, you know, it's if you if you're a Cinderella story like that uh, and you, you know people are going to root for you, but then they lost their 
their championship in their in their you know uh the conference their conference championship so it's like well but they're like well they went you know they should still should be in there and it's like well no not really you know because their strength of schedule wasn't that good but it was just it was a weird year for college football i felt anyway. well they're, they're supposed to go to 12 12 team playoff in 2024 is yeah. it 2024 i think that's the way to go because yeah. then you know some of the smaller schools will get in there but most likely the bigger schools the ohio state university <laughs> Alabama, you know, Florida's all the all the different schools. Well, you know, again, I you know, I, there's so many bowl games. It's yeah. My my thing would say if you play all the bowl games and then you have a playoff, but you don't. Well, want no, to I mean they, they they'll still have. I mean, just the bowl game. The <laughs> playoffs will be the bowl games. You know. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's gonna be no more because, like, I know they they finally laid the hammer down on the Rose Bowl because the Rose Bowl was always. The Big Ten versus the Pac-12 every so, yeah. And we're so not going to we're not going to do it, but the teams were not as as yeah. competitive. Right. So they they basically said no. Like if you want to be part of this now, you're going to let other teams in other than just those two conferences. Yeah. So we shall see. I mean, it's just uh, it's all about the money. Oh yeah, always. Have they started paying the college players yet? Do they get paid? Yeah. I mean, okay. They. They don't get paid like by the university, I don't think. But you know, they they can get endorsements. They can sell like their likeness. They can, yeah, you know, they can do different things, which they should have been allowed to do all along. Yeah, they get they get like likeness licensing or some shit like that. Okay. Um, yeah, there was one kid from I forget what school he went to, Kentucky maybe. He was he was on um, TikTok right after Christmas. He paid off his sister's like uh, tuition bill for college with his. Nice. Really? Likeness well, licensing again. They're they're putting their careers on the line. I mean, you know, the, you know, the, the head injury stuff. I mean, yeah. they I should mean, be getting something. And, and these schools make tons of money. The only problem is where are the star players going to go. They're going to go to Alabama. Right. They're going to go to. Uh, it, it, yeah. It, to me, I, I don't agree. I agree with some of it, but I don't agree with a lot of it because you know, you get someone like uh, the Manning kid who I think is going to Texas. I think yeah. he got signed like eight million dollars. Before he's even had one snap, you know, to go in as a freshman to Texas, it's like that to me sets a, a scary, dangerous, scary precedent. You know, scary precedent. Oh yeah, yeah, precedent. Because like it's just, you know, you don't know if he's any good or not. And then the you yeah. know the kind of schools that they go to, you know, are kind of catered to them in high school, so they don't get hurt and like they look good and right. and you don't know. It's just it's like you know signing the Heisman Trophy winner in college and then he sucks in the NFL. You have no idea. Yep. Yep. I it, it, the. Uh... The Ch- Padres just signed a catcher from Venezuela who's 16 years old. They gave him 5.6 million dollars. What the? I'm fuck? like going. I go. Yeah, because uh, catcher is like the hardest position to because that's the position most. St- I was saying today on another thing Jay and I do that that's a position that most your best players don't want to play that position because you don't last long. Yeah. Your knees. It's, it's a grueling position. It takes its toll. Your stats go down as the years go on. Yeah. So this kid's 16 and they give him five. I'm like going, well, I go by the time, yeah, he by the time he's 28, he's going to be retiring. Right. Yeah. But I go by the time he makes a major to be 20. I'll be 67 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, our, my theory is that they signed him so they could trade him at, cause Preller likes to trade, trade his rights prospects and his trip. Yes. You know, you know, not, not right away, but they'll trade him somewhere down the road. Maybe he'll develop into a star. I don't know. And I said, holy <clears throat> crap. But I'm always so, shocked, you know, Molina for the the Cardinals. You know, I mean, he's yeah. a catcher and he's lasted. I think he's still the – I think he is the longest playing well, he, he, person He ever. retired. He did retire, but I think yeah. he's, he has the record now for the he, longest person playing. Yeah, he kept going and going. Just I mean, there's going. some guys like Pudge Rodriguez that could just go on forever. But a lot of you look at Johnny Bench. He was, you know, he, he broke down. They tried to put him at third base, but he was, he was just a mess by that time. So they had to, he had to retire. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want to be. A, I, I used to catch, but I wouldn't want to be a full time catcher. Johnny Bench has that, uh, you know, that that blue cream, so he's good. He's yeah, good that's now. true. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it was something for uh, muscles, right? Yeah, it's like it's like blue emu or something. But it was blue something. I know that. And uh, I remember that. Yeah. I was laughing at uh, a, 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 a recent Lewis Black uh, bit where he was talking about, uh, you know, 
pharmaceutical companies advertising in America and how weird it is. He goes, he's like, you know, he's like, did you know that William Shatner had sleep apnea? <laughs> it's like, and he wasn't <laughs> properly cleaning his mask. You know? <laughs> but the best one is uh, he goes, nobody properly cleans their CPAP mask, by the way. Right. Yeah. And then he, and then he goes, he goes, and then Cindy Lauper has psoriasis. Yeah, Which I Dude, totally, you, yeah. You're, you're hitting home, buddy. I, yeah. I, I am afflicted with both of these things. <laughs> yeah. I actually take Sydney Lopper's fucking medication, Cosentix. <laughs> then why aren't month. you on the? You should be on the commercials. I know. Right? If you have I both, it's safe. It I got both. Time. I, I have I have a CPAP machine. It's probably one of my my number one most favorite pieces of technology <laughs> that I own. And I also have psoriasis, and like I mean. It's not bad now. It actually looks yeah. fantastic right now because I'm on fucking Cindy Lauper's medication. That's why. <laughs> Cosentix. I give myself two shots why a month. Why can't one Chris last have fun? Yeah. Chris just wants well, that was, to have that fun. That was the joke is that, you know, uh, he goes, he goes, you know, in picture of Lewis Black, Cris, I know you know his voice. Like, yeah, he's like, he said, Cindy, you know, and he goes, and it's totally ruined her music for me because now all I think about was <laughs> Was she itchy when she wrote the song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And but Sherry and plantar fasciitis. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all fucked up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, you know, I would. I drive around. I don't know about your your area, but we have. I look at billboards, and there's they they advertise for which like go to Duke Hospital, go to go to you. I go, I go. I'm going to go wherever my insurance goes through. Why are they wasting money? Right. On and you see advertisement on you know they advertise. I go, <laughs> What the fuck? How about how about lowering the cost a little bit and not pay, not at, you know not pay you know spending the advertising dollars? Yeah, I'll tell you, I I would say seventy five percent. I'm I'm ma- I'm pulling that number out of my ass. I'm just making an assumption here, but seventy five percent of our billboard space in Massachusetts goes to marijuana. Well, not, well at least like something every else. every other billboard is a dispensary because they're they're popping up like everywhere now because they're money incredible makers. oh yeah hmm. that i don't have a problem with but why are why are hospitals advertising i literally don't have a choice i mean i go to the nearest like when i go to emergency room i go to wake med it's just right down the street and they they like when i pass out that one time they said okay well you're we're gonna have to ship you to another hospital your insurance isn't covered here it's horseshit and so they had i go come on i can drive myself no we have to put you in an ambulance because we're responsible. Three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Thank you very much. Yeah. So whatever it was, and I just was like, okay. So I had to go to a UNC uh, hospital, whatever it was. It's just it's a load of crap. Of course, they they did charge me a chunk of money because I was there for a while, and they did so. I did think they sewed up my lip. I think that's where I got sewed up. But oh, anyway, yeah. it's just bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently everyone lost uh, connection I'm, for about 20 I think seconds. Jackson control the feed and it's buffering. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, we need I'm not. Bu- I'm not buffering, so the internet must be working right. So it's it's not me. It's not me. No, you or, definitely or it could. It could. It, it could. I'm skipping. You did for a second. Just yeah. for a second. Oh, then maybe it is me. I don't know. Spanos, Spanos net. <laughs> nice. So, anyways, so football, uh, <laughs> football has been kind of crazy. It sucks for most people, but um, it's been a couple of crazy weeks. Like I, I fully expected the Buffalo Bills to come to New England and just demolish the Patriots. Uh, they won, no doubt, but like I, they was not by the crazy margin that I thought it was going to be. After what's his name um, being uh, saying he was a okay and Demar. Demar uh... and, uh... Hamlin, which yeah. thankfully he's all right but you know i i thought that that was gonna be like the the fucking scene from braveheart where he's coming out running like crazy and just beat the shit out of us but never turned out that bad but you know the the bills are not playing the type of football they were playing early on i, I think that sure. uh i think josh allen he hurt remember he hurt his elbow yeah i don't think he's 100 percent. yeah um but yeah other Plus, than football, should, I, I thought they would crush Miami, and they only won by three. And, and right. you'd be proud of this: the uh, Miami coach was caught vaping on the sidelines. What's wrong with that? He went like this. He went, 
that the camera <laughs> stayed on him, so he was caught. There vaping. was somebody in Congress is, doing. Is that there something wrong week. with vaping? Uh, I don't know if you're supposed. You can't do it on a plane, so. Yeah, you yeah, but he's on the middle there. of a field. Who cares? Well, you know, I mean, technically, the people, the fans can't do it. Oh, you know. Yeah. But hey, I have not vaped in. Well, I haven't vaped nicotine in forever. Well, I think the coach for Miami. I think he's high going into the games. Have you ever heard Fair. him interviewed? No. But they they had the ball. They could have tied the game. They got they had to use all their timeouts because they kept getting delay of game penalties on the final drive. Mm. They kept saying, "Well, you have a rookie quarterback. I don't care. He can tell time. There's a big clock that tells you how much time you have to snap the ball." <laughs> That's pretty right. huge. So anyway, I, I didn't I didn't go for that excuse. Once again, he's professional. I mean, you should, yeah, you should be able, you're yeah. you're getting paid. Get your ass out. You have 40 seconds. Once the ball is. It, the play is stopped to get the play in. I don't know. They had it fourth and one, and they got called for delay a game. I go, you're going to do a quarterback sneak. What the what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, I I I don't have to stress out anymore. I don't have a team, so I just enjoy football and and enjoy seeing the Chargers choke. Bengals Ravens Ravens have a good defense, but Lamar Jackson said, "Nope, not playing." Not playing. My knee hurts, so I'm not playing. You know what he was doing? He he didn't want to play. I I hate to say that because maybe it's true, but he didn't want to play because he's he wants a big contract. He wasn't going to risk an injury. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Who knows? I don't know. I did see a movie. I did That's watch. What did you see? I I saw the pale blue eye with Christian Bale. Okay. Uh, Nick well. didn't. Uh, I didn't think it was too bad. I, I thought it was. I, a, gave I was five wrong. Out of ten. I was wrong on who did it, except mm-hmm. when I go. Oh wait, I, I'm spoiling. But I go. They all like, did it. I go. There's like 25 minutes left. What's going? On? I and I at one point I said. Right. I almost said, okay, this is the person that did it. I go. No, I'm going to say this person. So I stuck with that. Oh, I thought I was right. Probably, we should- we should probably set this up a little bit because Chris probably doesn't okay. know what the movie. So it's a Netflix no movie. It's a Netflix movie with Christian Bale, and there's a few other actors in it that you would recognize. Um, and it's well, I set, didn't. I didn't, it's set well, say, in, I didn't know that was Julian Anderson. Yeah. Until I was until I was writing this stuff, I go, "Oh, that was her." I had no idea. I, I recognize um, Robert Duvall. Yeah. It's Which I'm surprised Robert Duvall took that role. It's such a small role for him. Eh, he's oh, he's, he's friends with the director, so that's he's also that 150 years old. So yeah, <laughs> I gotta uh, get some. Why am I out? But, Wrong movie there, Robert. Basically, uh, Chris, and for everyone listening, it's, uh, it takes place in probably the 1840s, and uh, I thought I thought it was 1830. Could be. I don't know. I didn't remember the year, but anyway, but uh, uh, and it's at uh, West Point. Uh, military academy and a murder has happened and they get but uh they get christian bale to come investigate uh like who did it he's an an ex-detective ex-detective yeah and you kind of get into like and the thing is it's weird is like his person who's helping him is like a young edgar Allan poe and which i don't know really know why they chose to include him in this movie but whatever Uh, my internet is slow interesting um, and anyway, but like my issue with the movie is that it's extremely slow. Um, it, it does have a good ending, but it's just kind of like get on with it. But uh, yeah, see, like, yeah. Share, like you know, she struggled to watch it as well. Yeah. Well, what Cindy and I did, we started it late and then stopped, <laughs> went to bed, and woke right. up the next day and finished it because we wanted to know who who done it. Right. I didn't. I didn't think. I. I wasn't. It wasn't like I'm <laughs> overly excited with it, but I. I yeah. At least it was a who done it that ha- that threw it out there that you sh- that they had clues of who did it. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't one of these things that came out. Well, how the hell did that person do it? Because mm-hmm. you know a, a lot of movies do that just to throw you off and just say, oh, 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 oh we got you. No, I. If it's a who done it, I want I want clues of that that person could possibly have done it, and the clues were there the whole time. I just refuse to back off the, my original. My wife goes, "Oh, you were wrong." I go, "Yeah, I was wrong." <laughs> second time, I go. Second time, I was wrong. The other time, I was wrong was February twenty fifth, nineteen eighty nine. I always throw that in her face. That's my anniversary. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> 
Can't be perfect. But yes, I was wrong. Did, yeah, did uh, I send you? Did I, did, I send, was did I send you guys that meme? It was really funny. It was um, <laughs> two guys telling each other a joke, and it said, uh, "Why do women close their eyes in the middle of sex? Hmm. Because they can't stand seeing a man have a good time." <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's so good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. I have never heard that. <laughs> so we we talked a little bit about this last show too, because you guys talked a little about the Who Done It movies and whatnot. But um, uh, I want to go back to talk real quickly about um, White Lotus, which is a show that I mentioned right. that I was watching right. last time. Mm-hmm. Um, I have since finished watching the first season, um, and I'm about halfway through the current. Is it is it really good? Season. It is really good. Like you know, it's. Like it's it's one of those things where you 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 say you you knew you knew who did it like right after out, out of the gate like that's that was kind of like your problem with the shows you were watching with both seasons thus far the way they do it is that there's no way so to tell who there, did are it there, are there two but you don't you also you, but you also don't know who who they did it to right so you know that somebody like in, in both both seasons both the first season and the second season. Um, it, you re, you get kind of like the reveal of somebody dying, but you don't see who it is, you don't know who it is, and then you immediately rewind back in time like a week or two, right? So it's it's an it's a who done it, but you don't know who did it, you don't know who they did it to until the very end of the first episode, no. first season, and the end of apparently for the second season as well. So it's kind of like a double who done it type of situation, which I think is actually a really cool approach um to a show um and the acting is really good you know so they've got um in this second season jennifer coolidge returns um as you can see she's been all over the place and if you watch the golden globes she kind of fucking spoils it which i was pretty pissed about when i was watching it but she gave a real heartfelt speech when she won the golden globes um but they do a really good job and the second season takes place at like another one of the white lotus resorts this one happens to be in italy so there's two there's two murders yeah each so season? Two, okay two different seasons right so like the first season you know it starts off where you're you're in the airport with this guy who's on his way home from hawaii and he's talking to people in the airport and they, they oh someone i heard somebody died blah 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 and where's your wife you just got married because his wife isn't there with him at the airport and you hear somebody dies. So it's always like, could this be misdirection? Who knows? Um, and then in the second season, it starts off with the one of the main characters is on the beach. Oh, nice. Mandalorian trailer. I got to check that out, too. I'm going to meet these guys as well and watch that in a second. <laughs> we'll probably say, um, I, I 100% just muted you all to watch the Mandalorian yeah. trailer. Always um, professional here at the RC. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, the second season starts off with one of the main characters who's on the beach on her last day of vacation. And she's by herself. And she's on the beach and she goes in for a one last swim and she swims up on a dead body. And then there's apparently multiple dead bodies. And that's when the, the op- season opener kind of starts and it rewinds back in time. And you're meeting all these characters as you go. She's the only, you said she's the only one on the beach. No, nope, she's not the only one on the beach, but she's on the beach on her last day of vacation. And she's like, is there a, a lifeguard present? And, no, no. Um, lifeguard didn't see the dead bodies. I, I, don't, I don't know, Jack. It's a fucking TV show. <laughs> um, but in the second season, it brings on Aubrey Plaza from um, from Parks and Rec, mm-hmm. who I've never seen her in anything other than Parks and Rec. Oh, um, yeah, you have. You've seen uh, Scott Pilgrim. and uh, Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, she's in Scott Pilgrim, and she's in some other things I've seen, but yeah. Well, I think I, I, think I saw Scott Pilgrim before Parks yeah, and before Rec. Yeah, before Parks and Rec, yeah. Yeah, I didn't put two and two together there. But anyways, it's cool to see her in this role. Um, She's a little wacky. And, yeah. yeah. A little, little, well, little she plays wacky. the same character in everything she does. Just yeah. about. Well, I think that's who um, she is. And then what's yeah. his name? <laughs> I think what's so his too. name yeah. from um, um, The Time Traveler's Wife? I can't think of his name. Theo. Theo um, he's got two first Epstein. names. Theo, Theo Johns. Theo, <clears throat> Theo James. Theo James. He's one of the characters. And, and uh, Jennifer Coolidge makes a return. Yeah. Um, but so far, halfway through, uh, how how long are the episodes? Hour each. Yeah, they're hour each. Hour. And it's, what yeah. ten episodes? I think so. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> but um, 
Yeah, man. And oh, this this season's also got what's his name from The Sopranos, Christopher from The Sopranos. Oh, okay. Um, he's one of the characters in it. Um, great. Yeah, it's it, it's really good. I, I I mean, I can't recommend it enough. I would definitely go watch. I've even finished watching it. I think it's, the season's great too. So, uh, give it a shot for sure. All right, I'll just. I never did finish. Um... Don't watch Jennifer Coolidge's uh, acceptance. Well, speech, I, I saw some of it. I didn't really pay attention because I, I, I didn't, didn't even know the Golden Globes were on until I know. a lot of, a lot of people did. A lot of people didn't. I mean, I, I don't care anymore, really. But it was kind of a weak year. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah. I oh, watched well, uh, Keekwon. Uh, watching him win was pretty awesome, though. For uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh yeah, yes. I got. I have to watch. I still haven't watched that movie. It's a good one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a really good movie. I mean, it's. You know, Chris and I, I know we've talked it up a lot, but you know, it, it explains a multiverse way better than anything Marvel's done. Yeah. But it's just, it's just, it, you're going to be confused a bit, Jack, especially in the beginning. But then it eventually, it makes sense. I can't believe the lead actress in that is 60 years old. Yeah, and she She's can still amazing. kick our ass. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, she can kick everyone's ass according to her. <laughs> yeah, she said that in her in her speech too, yeah, right? To, yeah, okay, again, to... uh, the award shows. Why do we play the music? Let them, let them fucking have their minute, their their moment, and and yeah. if it goes a little long, it goes a little long. Yeah, that's not the problem with award shows, right? We Jack, just, we just it is to... so good, says Sherry. I'm assuming she's referring to uh, white. Lotus. I, know, I, I thought she was eating ice there. cream or something. Yeah. Maybe she yeah. had a banana split. It's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so check it out, White Lotus. And I think once I want to finish watching White Lotus, I might just get rid of HBO Max because there's really no need to have it. No, 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 no. What, what about that new show? New show? Uh, you got to watch it, Chris. It's a good first episode. Uh, Last of Us. Oh, uh, about the video game? Yeah, the video game. And it's probably it's one of the, the best video games uh, shows I've seen ever. So, yeah, I, I did read something about that. I, I never played the game, but I did read I somewhere did. that. But they said that they are covering nothing outside of the game, which I thought was kind of interesting how they're approaching it. We lost, um, <laughs> we lost Jack. Uh, Sherry says, uh, oh, she's referencing everything everywhere all at once. Uh, someone yeah, told I, me to watch White Lotus Sherry. and she said it was really good. Yeah. Um, I have a crush on an Italian prostitute from that show. She is so hot. What, what show are you talking about? Uh, uh, White Lotus. A White Lotus. Italian yeah. prostitute. Your audio that. is not. Your microphone right. is, not, is not selected, Jack. Yeah. I think you're using your your headphone mic I headphones think. instead yeah. Uh, um, yeah. yeah oh uh but yeah uh, uh a last of us started out pretty good because i was expecting kind of like a, a walking dead-esque type show yeah but it it, it, like. it's yeah because it is it's about zombies as well but it's i don't think we really even saw but one or two in the pilot you know it was because the first it's an hour and a half first episode and the first 30 minutes is you know like a lot of them, like the virus hit um and then everyone starts to freak out, and then it skips twenty years later. And uh, you know, Pedro, of course, is doing a great job um, doing a, an American accent. Oh, yeah. First, uh, your first name bases with him now. Yeah, he's he's from the United States. You know that, right? Is he? I thought he. Yeah, okay. he's, he, he's literally from Rhode Island. Is he? He was. He was in. Uh, <laughs> well, he always kind of does this. Like he, he's uh, in Narcos. Yeah, he always tends to do this Spanish accent. So I just assumed yeah. he was not American. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's like from Rhode Island. Um, okay. Like that right yeah, now. I'm from Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the uh, internet going out. Uh, but, there, but at this time, I am going to take Wait, Chris, you're a from, commercial break. You're from Rhode Island. Pretty much. Commercial break. Uh, yeah, but like I enjoyed the pilot. I enjoyed the first episode. I'm definitely going to keep watching. Um, and then the other show I watched, I knocked out in a day, um, was a Netflix series called uh, Kaleidoscope, which is about a, a bank heist. Hmm. Uh, and I, I gave it a seven out of ten. I mean, it's definitely worth a watch if you have the time. Uh, you'll recognize uh, a few actors that are in it. Uh, and is it a movie makes, or a sh- movie? It's or a show. show. It's a, it's like an eight, seven or eight episode show. And the reason why it's called Kaleidoscope is it's one of those where if you the episodes are not numbered like one, two, three, four. They're all done by colors, and so you can choose to watch it if you want to in chronological order, or you can watch it the way the Kaleidoscope is meant to be. So. You know, like the first episode is the, the normal episode where it's like, you know, this is the premise. This is what we're doing. And then it kind of like skips after the bank robbery. It skips, you know, 20 years before the bank robbery. And you see like all these different characters and how they intertwine. And then so the last I, episode. I, I have the choice, which so the viewer has the choice, which way they go with it. 
if you want to, like I, I could give you the list, you know, the, the colors, if you wanted to watch it in chronological order, but I just preferred to watch it the way they set it up of like, yeah, that's what I would do. I, I, time. That, that, that is a pretty cool concept though. Let's say, I mean, it's something different. Do yeah. they still make kaleidoscopes? I mean, do kids play with those now? I haven't seen one in years, but I'm sure you they were a big them. deal when I was a kid. I got my kaleidoscope. But yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Like I said, like, yeah, I, I felt it had some weak parts to it, but for the most part, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, it's not one of those classics that you're gonna be like, oh, you gotta go watch it. But it was good. I it was entertaining. Randy said the broads talked about the kaleidoscope. I'm not sure who they are. Yeah. So anyway. And then the other thing I just finished before we hit record was I watched the menu, which was a movie that I was. Oh, how was that? Yeah, I, I I actually enjoyed it, but it is fucked up. Yeah. Um and it's not for everybody for sure, because it's just it starts the ball rolling with dark and it just stays dark, you know. But uh I did enjoy what kind, it. Is it a, just a, a murder movie or is it old? no, like basically uh he uh you know Voldemort, Ralph what's his last name? Fines? Fines. Yeah, Ralph Fines. Um he's just this famous chef and he has an island where his restaurant is and it's owned by, you know, and it's just exclusive and it's like twenty uh, twelve hundred or thirteen hundred a head. And this particular night, you know, it's like just you know, they all show up and it starts off normal and then he just slowly starts killing them, you know, and it's explained oh, why, you know, he's I, killing I, them. I remember the previews of this now. That's why it clicks. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's, I thought weird. it was, a, I thought it was a comedy. But it I... is not a comedy. No. Okay. All right. Um, but it's, it's just, it's just, I mean, you, you understand that, why. That's on Netflix? No, it's on HBO. HBO. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, like I said, it's not for everybody for sure, but I enjoyed it. Uh, it's just yeah, it's it's messed up. All right, I mean nothing gory, nothing like you know that you're gonna be like this is gross. Just a lot of people dying. Just yeah, not necessarily even a lot of people dying. It's just you know they're all pieces of crap. Like everyone that is there, and they're there for a reason. And but the thing is, is that he is like a cult status chef, and so even all of his cooks, all of his staff are completely one hundred percent loyal to him. So like they're all just fanatics. And it's it's just it's it's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I, I saw the pre. Why, why did I think it was a comedy? Huh. I'm getting old. What the hell? I got uh, to get out. So, I gotta get out. So, so quick, quick bio update on uh, Pedro Pascal. Um, mm-hmm. Born in Chile, came to the states. All right. Okay. Um, there is no record of him being in Rhode Island. Um, but other than, <laughs> other than, other than a, a personal account of a friend of mine who actually like hung out with him back in like the early two thousands. So um, he's from Chile. So we, we got to give Nick kind of an apology there, which is interesting because like he comes from a real interesting I guess, background. I guess we're not, I, I, guess we're not gonna get it. I, I, no. I apologize in a weird, <laughs> passive way. I don't believe. It. I, I don't feel the sincerity in that. Nick, <laughs> I, I, I am truly sorry for um, uh, not one hundred percent correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting story. He actually um, took his mother's last name Pascal in in tribute to her. She actually um, oh. died by suicide in nineteen ninety nine. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, interesting story. So, like, you know, he took the role for. Um, shit. What was it? Um, Martell and um, mm-hmm. yeah, Game of Thrones. Thank you, Game of Thrones. So that was like in 2014, but he had like a bunch of like small parts before that. Were never was right. really like a really huge. And I remember like um, my a friend of mine was telling me like how he like sat on a couch with him having a conversation about like how he was contemplating whether or not he was going to continue his acting career because all he had was these small parts and these dip, small dinky little roles. You gotta eat, and then and then he. Um, but he, even Game he got, of Thrones he got called was, up. Yeah, even Game of Thrones was a small role, but like it, but it, he did it. But it so opened well. the doors. It yeah, opened it, the doors yeah. for him. It really I mean, did. He's he's, he, he's got he's he's great in Narcos. Yeah, yeah, and it, um, you know, and then the other his other co star in uh, Last of Us is the the girl from you know Bear Island in Game of Thrones, the little girl from the north. You know that was you know the yeah. North answers the call. You know. Right. Oh, okay, you know, I still haven't seen the end of uh, the the, re- the what was it called? The oh, House of Dragon. Uh, House of Dragon. It's like three episodes ago. I, it's one of those things that I stop. I forget about it and get on it, Jack. Forget about it. 
And my internet keeps, I can see the little thing. It keeps telling me, you're low. What the hell, Jack? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't is my know. internet being better than your internet? I don't know. Maybe I got your internet. I did go to the grocery store today, and God, the price of food. Oh, it's ridiculous. I yeah. did, we, too. It was $7 for a dozen fucking eggs. And I was like, you yeah, know what? I mean, you, know what? you know what this means? This means I'm going to quit eating eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or I'm going to buy a chicken. You can't do it. But we used to we get these pizzas from Wegmans. They're the best pizzas. You, you put them in the oven. You cook for like ten minutes. They used to be like twelve inches for eight dollar an eight dollar pizza. So he goes, "You want to have that tomorrow?" I go, "Sure, let's have that tomorrow." I go, "I go to get." It. I go, "All right, where are the big ones?" I go, "Wait, this is it." Now they're like eight inches, and they went up two dollars. Yeah. So it went up two dollars, and it's smaller. And Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah. Because I buy them for the grandkids like a couple times a week. Sure you do, Jack. I, I get myself some too, but anyway, they got smaller and they're more expensive. I, I ordered, uh, I didn't say I ordered eight donuts and it was like $13. I go, I go, did you say $13? So I drive up to the front. I go, what's a dozen? She goes, she goes, oh, it's 14 something. I go, well, okay. Can I just get a dozen? <laughs> why, am right. I pay, why am I paying 80 cents? Are they hot? Or are they, are they sitting there like already pre-made? No, uh, most of the donuts are the the original glaze are hot, yeah. but they're it, it, again they're like getting smaller and smaller, like a bag of you yeah. know the, the family size bag of chips. I go, yeah. All right, where's the oh, this is the family size bag of chips. It's now a dollar more. It's crazy. I, I, I we went today and said he goes, I thought we we're gonna. I go, what did we spend money on? Yeah. It was ridi- it was ridiculous how much. I went shopping today too, and like I and I didn't even buy any protein or anything like that because I'm I'm getting some meal like uh, meal deliveries happening like the mm-hmm. one of those like you know, blue apron type things. Yeah. So I can kind of bang out a few dinners. So I didn't buy like any proteins or stuff to, like prepare for dinner. I just bought like all like the, you know the the snack stuff, the kids kid lunch stuff, and like the the basics. On came up to like one hundred and forty five dollars. I'm like I didn't even fucking buy anything. How is this one hundred and forty five dollars? I, I literally bought nothing. I had nothing to show for it, and I was like, "This right. is bad." No, it's 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 our 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 uh, heat for our, our gas is gas is usually pretty cheap. Our oh, gas it's super oh, expensive. Right I budget. said, "I said, how did we spend one hundred and seventy dollars last month?" Yep, it was only cold for a week. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's just it's just uh, oh, they're getting everybody. Yeah, they're they're fucking everybody. Yeah, it's just um, it's like you know, like uh, usually before we podcast, I don't have time to make anything, and especially now I don't, I can't time to, can't make anything. So I go to Burger King. I just got the Whopper meal. You know, that's it, just the Whopper onion rings. Fourteen dollars. Yeah, it was thirteen eighty something. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's it's. Like I said, I tried not to... The Whopper is a good burger. It is no doubt. Yeah, but it's not no fourteen dollar fucking meal. No, like no. if you're gonna spend fourteen bucks, go to Five Guys. Right. No, heck, that's eighteen though. I went. No. Um, yeah. When I where was I uh, recently? Uh, just oh, I was outside St. Louis, or no, somewhere in that area. I was driving back. Or back either I was going to uh, back for Tennessee or back here, and uh, I went and I got the the little the little bacon cheeseburger, Cajun fries, and a drink, and it was eighteen something. I was like, Jesus what Christ. the fuck? Cindy and I went to Subway about a month ago. I got a foot long. She got six inch sandwich. We got chips and drinks. It was $32. I went, did she just say $32? I go, I go, I'll never, I go, I'm sorry. This is not worth $32 <laughs> because they, they barely put any meat on there. You know, it's Subway. They, you know, they, right. they got a guy in jail. So it's all bread it. or cake. <laughs> yeah, but it just, I said, I go, and I go, I won't come to Subway again. That's ridiculous. That's, $32 that's ridiculous. for, I mean, for, oh, yeah. for a sandwich I could make myself that would be 10 times better. Right. But yeah. Like, it, I, I get it. You know, they're, they're paying people more. The cost of everything is going up. So, but I'm, the, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep paying it. Yeah. It's the only thing, good, it's not even good anymore. That's the, I'm, I'm looking forward to my raise this year because, like, my boss gave me the the wink this year uh, because last year we all got screwed over at our company raise wise. But we hired two new people this year, and we're about to hire another person. But I'm his only like actual person under him, so I get all of the raise this year. Like, I get 
you know, it doesn't get divided. So I'll probably get like a six or 7% raise. Oh, nice. I'm like, yeah, nice. Right. That's good yeah. for you. Because if I you're new, it. you know, you don't get a raise. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so new people don't get raised. Not your first year, especially if you've only been working for five months. It's like, why would you get a raise if you've been there five months? Yeah, and I, they get I, and they get paid well anyway because these guys are like, you know. they're smart. Yeah, they're smarter than me. Yeah. Well, I didn't doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Sydney; she's been having to drive an hour one way. Uh, something happened at the rink years ago. A, a camera fell out of a window. I don't know if I can talk about the whole thing, but a camera fell out of the window. NC State used to tell, uh, record their hockey games, and they would have announcers and all this stuff. Somehow, a camera fell out of the window and hit a, hit somebody below. Hmm. And so they settled with NC State, and now they're going after the rink. For a while, we were on the lawsuit. I mean, personally, I so I go, I got to take your name off the house. I go, this is bullshit. Yeah. And, but now they technically have taken us off. They could always come back after us anyway. But she's been driving back and forth, back and forth, back. I feel so bad for her because it, I go, why do you have to be there every day? Because I'm the main person on the and, – and she has to talk to our former boss who we didn't leave on good terms. And I, But she's handled it pretty well. I, I just feel bad for her because it's – Wow. Anyway, so it's it's one of those things where it's just like – but to drive an hour each way. I mean, they're, they're paying for the car and they're paying for – they're paying gas for, you know. The, the stuff, but it's just like it's such a, it's such a bullshit. I go, I go, why do you have to be there every day? Mm-hmm. They said they put her up in a hotel, but she didn't want to stay there by herself. I can't be there because I have the grandkids, you know. So it's like, anyway, the internet just kicked me out. My must internet be, kicked you out. Yeah, it must be a. Oh, did you, is that you kidding or are you serious? I'm definitely kidding. I was trying uh, to fix my camera and it's not working. I don't know why. Anyway, so you got that to deal with. It's just uh, hopefully this. I, hopefully it ends this week and it, we're done with it forever. And this movie, but she doesn't like it because the the lawyer for the you know the people suing they're bashing her. I said, look, they have to do that. They have to make you look bad, even though you did everything right. You know, it's just you have to. She goes, would you take it? I go, no. I probably get up and said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I go, but that's why I'm not there because I'm not one to sit there and be bashed. <laughs> And keep quiet about it. So I said, you know, you did the right thing. And there was testimony by someone we all know. He didn't tell the truth. Oh. Kind of, kind of self, kind of, he kind of was, uh, it hadn't been shown yet, but it was on video. And I'm a little pissed about that. But that's okay. That's okay. I, I roll with the punches. But anyway, that's life. That's what I'm going through right now. And the grandkids, are, of course, are just a pain in the ass. And the other day, my, my granddaughter, I... We went to McDonald's, came back, and she goes, do you have to go to the bathroom? I go, no. She goes, you're lying. <laughs> I go, I don't have to go to the bathroom. It's not good to hold it. That's what her mom tells her. And I go, right. I go, no, really, I'm good. If you have to go, go. She goes, I don't have to go. You have to go, and you're lying. Oh. And so she's kept saying it, saying it over. So then she went home. She goes, then she tells her, my daughter, Papa was lying about having to go to the bathroom. He had to go, and he wouldn't go. <laughs> ah. I go, look, kid, I'm old. If I have to go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. I go, I, I don't I don't have the luxury of waiting a few minutes to say <laughs> if I have to pee, I have to pee. That's 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 part of life. So but she was calling me a liar, calling me a liar. And then when I was playing music and she goes, she's in the back. She goes, Papa, this music is too slow. I said, OK, we'll play something peppy. <laughs> Oh, my grandkids, they kill me. They're fun, though. For now. But she, they, she's really into Frosty the Snowman. And she's still watching it. And that's my least favorite oh, yeah. holiday cartoon. I hate Frosty the Snowman. I think he's a pedophile. Uh, wow. Okay. I, I'm going to go there. I think he's a pedophile. You know, happy birthday to me. He's naked. I thought, I thought Rudolph was your, was your least favorite. No, I love Rudolph, but I, but he's Santa's a racist. Mm-hmm. So, but but yeah, he you know Frosty the it's you know, and then Santa Claus comes and he basically blackmails the magician into making him give up his hat. Right. I won't bring you anything else ever again. And Santa Claus is a dick in almost every fucking movie. You know that. <laughs> but 
That's why you guys see um, uh, Violent Nights. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that. It's a guy from uh, Stranger Things, right? Yes. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, you're going to be going, oh, shit, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's great. If you may, you know, if you know, you like John Wick and nobody, you know, it's. Well, I, it's I, I then, like no. I saw nobody, but I've never seen John Wick. Oh, really? We were gonna yeah. go see that that movie Babylon. Oh, it's got it's like, horrible reviews. It, yeah. It's like three hours long or something like that, and it got it was like Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, holy crap! I told Cindy, I go, it's like forty percent from the viewers, the fans. I go, no. Oof. You no, that cost. Read- That'll cost you, a lot of food. You kind of wonder who her agent is, uh, Margie Rob or Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, because Margot she's Robbie. had like that's what they're saying because she's had like three flops in a row, mm. and I doubt Barbie's going to do any better. But, yeah, that seems like a weird movie. Yeah, but uh, I, I just think the problem is that there's there's not a lot of movies being made, right? I mean, they're no, just, they're so expensive. Well, I mean, I mean if you guys. COVID basically killed a lot of the movie theaters. Uh, right. And then no one's going because especially now, it's kind of like how like no one you know, was buying Blu-rays and DVDs anymore because it was going to come out streaming. It's the same thing right. for this as well. It's like why? Because like the menu came out, I think, in November uh, in theaters and it's already you know on HBO. It's like, well, why even go to the show if it's going to be out for free in a month? I know, I know when I was a kid and HBO first came out, you literally had to wait like a year. Yeah. For the movie to come out on HBO, maybe six months to a year, like on regular TV, it would be like a year. Like your big movies would come out on Sunday night. They'd have like Planet of the Apes, mm-hmm. and then you know whatever movies were hit big in '69, those movies would come out on on Sunday or Friday, Friday or Sunday night. But Which but now you know now, like you said, they're out. You're, you're, I'm going to charge you next time to bring you back in. <laughs> But, you know, they're, they're, these movies, they, they come, like you said, they come out. Why would I go to the theater? But I like, go, there's something about like going, going to the theater. Yeah. I mean, I like I, going I to the Carmel Draft House. Uh, but, again, like some of these movies that are questionable, it's like, all right, I want to see it, but I'll just watch it. I'll just stream it because why right. should I, why am I going to pay, you know, to go down to the Draft House for like $60, $70 when you buy all the food mm-hmm. and the movie sucks, then yeah. it's like when I went and saw Little Women, I'm like going, Oh, the new! I, I still haven't seen the new one. I mean, I, I like the '90s one, so I was like, "Well, it was kind. It was kind. It's it's all right, but it's it's boring." Yeah, I mean, Little <laughs> Women is kind of boring. I mean, it's, it's it's got its moments that are good, but yeah, know. I mean, it's it's about women, so why would it be exciting? Yeah, but, uh... I'm kind of like I'm kind of like Joey from Friends. <laughs> like, how little are they? Are they like stupid? Little, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Chris. Lighten up. Just like I didn't say anything. Yeah, I saw your face. Yeah, the New I, Englander down I, there is, you know, you always, you always wear glasses family. when you're podcasting? No. I, my, I, I just didn't put my contact lenses in today. Well, you can't see us? No. I mean, I'm not wearing contacts. I can see you guys perfectly. I mean. You even wear the yeah. glasses. Oh, wait. You, you rarely see Chris in glasses. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even realize I was you. Okay. Yeah. You take the glasses. It's like Clark. Now, now he's Clark, Clark Kent. Kent. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> that was the other yeah like will fry just talks about how he's picky what he sees at the theater now and i haven't even thought about avatar like it has no interest to me whatsoever so to said it's made like two billion dollars i don't i, don't, I haven't i don't know anyone who's seen it so it's no. like how is it making money i don't have not don't talked to anyone who's seen it i think it's bullshit don't you yeah just inflated numbers to prop up james cameron or maybe james cameron's buying all the tickets <laughs> who knows I like I said I don't know like I said I don't go out anywhere but I, I I on the internet I don't know anybody that's seen it. The the best review or the worst review I read of it was just turquoise vomit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's made two billion dollars, they'll keep making them. Well, I mean that's his goal. But you know it's the same. You know, same has a stuff. movie ever made two billion dollars? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Avatar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't think uh, the first one. Yeah, I don't think it's beat. There's there's several that are in the billion range now, but I don't think it's in the top five yet. Okay. All right. Because I remember when movies made like sixty million, it was like it's a hit. 
It's a hit. Yeah, right. I mean, it's technically well nowadays. I think I think it has to break eighty million these days to it to be considered to be a success. But, well, it depends on how much it costs to make. I mean, but most sure. movies now are not cheap. Even independent movies are not mm-hmm. cheap because it's so, again, that's another reason why you're getting less movies. It's too expensive to, you know, to make. All right. And TV shows, and you know, that's why they have so many fucking reality shows because they're easier and oh, they're cheaper so easy. to make. Yeah. 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 You should get Cliff, you know, he'll edit them. And yeah, there you go. Them out. So. Cliff likes to edit. <laughs> We should have Cliff on the show tonight. Yeah, he probably wouldn't join, but uh, you know he's yeah. a he's a he's a he's a big deal now. You know his his company got bought by a major studio. Oh, did it get? Is that right? By, yeah, I won't say which, but uh, you know maybe get, I'll I'll send him a message next week if if Matt's not going to be here. Maybe we'll get Cliff on there. Yeah, the return of the uh, what was his what was his name? The, uh, oh, the fucking the hybrid, the hybrid, the hybrid. The hybrid, yeah. the hybrid. <laughs> You take a water bottle and you hit her over the head. Right. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, Cliffy. No, I'm not doing that, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I, you know, me and him used to go always go to the, you know the Grommans and see the movies because it was like a good meeting point to go to the movies. But you know that's yeah. super expensive because it's it's twenty two or twenty four per ticket because you're in really? the yeah the big theater and then you know you're spending at least. Probably fourteen on popcorn, another eleven for your drink, and so you know you're spending fifty bucks to go so watch a movie. Fourteen dollars on a thing of popcorn? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what their profit margin is on that? It's probably oh, it's nuts. fourteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So uh, you okay. reminded me though. You remind me about the popcorn bit. Um, I told you guys how I'm going to, to Disney, right? Yeah, yeah. Or Florida? Yeah, yeah. Disney so. World. Yeah, so I'm going to Florida next month and uh, bringing. So I guess you my, can't record. That would be correct. On that week, okay. I will not be recording. All right. Um, so it was. It's my it's my family's first time traveling outside of the state, really anywhere. Really. Far. Huh. I mean, we That's drove, right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, like you, 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 you know. finally got your ankle bracelet off. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. But you know the the extent of travel that my kids are are. You know, a no is like going up to Maine or going to the Cape. You know, road trip. Yeah. We've never gone anywhere. Like, a, are you like driving or flying? Flying. You do. Yeah, I, I do. Want Spirit to Airlines. Airlines. Like, you know, there is going to be airline? a lot What's of airline? Spirit. No, Spirit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, as long as it's not um, Frontier. But, yeah. yeah. Start the propellers. <laughs> right. Uh, so we made plans to go, and we're we're staying off Disney. Like you know, we're not on on the Disney property because it's Not so yet. much money to do that. Um, and my son is three, so you know, we I just I'm using that as an excuse really to because I would have loved to have gone to Disney for like three or four days, but we're not going to just because you know it'd be tough to have a you know have a, have a three year old kind of trail us through or whatever. So. We had planned, and I got tickets for one day to go to Magic Kingdom, which I'm excited mm-hmm. to go and bring my kids. I think it's going to be a blast. Mm-hmm. But deep down inside, I'm like pissed. <laughs> right? I'm going all the way to Florida, and I'm not going to Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> I thought like, you were. I was losing my mind. Oh, about yeah. It. Uh, and so I, I actually pulled the trigger on it a couple of days ago um, where What's I got Galaxy tickets. Edge? Galaxy's Edge Star Wars. is inside oh, okay. Hollywood Studios, and it's okay, the Star okay. Wars place, the Millennium Falcon, the different rides, and the whole night. So I pulled the trigger, and I, I got tickets for my daughter and I. Um, so we're going to go to Galaxy's Edge after hours, which is, you know, they, they do like two nights a month where they sell tickets for the park from like, you can get in at 7 but it technically starts at 9.30, but you can get in at 7. I know it's just some bullshit, like, time frame, whatever. Um, but they keep the park open until 12.30. So everything's all nighttime. It's all lit up. They do fireworks and all that type of shit. Um, so I'm going to take Emma to Galaxy's mm. Edge the night before we fly back, which mm. should be interesting. Are you going to take Are you gonna take pictures? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, never show, never show them to your son. Go ahead. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, kid. <laughs> um, but, you were uh, too young. I'm Daddy so I'm so dream. pumped because like that was like that was like the one thing I really really wanted to do was go to Galaxy's Edge and and now we are so I'm pretty stoked about yeah. that and we're going at nighttime which right. uh, apparently Galaxy's Edge at night is like super cool 
because of like all the lightsabers and like all the, the lighting on the on the on the ships and everything looks looks super cool. Um, and on top of that, I realized after the fact that when you buy the after hours tickets, it's free popcorn, free ice cream, oh. and free soda. Like cool. unlimited, wow. unlimited free shit. So I'm super excited for that. That's gonna be kind of nice. like the cool. Wednesday night before we come home. So but yeah. Yeah. So if you can, Chris, build a lightsaber. Of course is. I am. Okay. Yeah. You no, have I mean, to find I, it. I though. have to do it. Yeah, like, this to. thing is, is though, you have to remember, like no one is going to tell you where it is. That's what's crazy. It's because you're in you're in, you know, the the uh, the first order is overseeing it all. So like if you're like, hey, where do I build a site? They're gonna look at you like Oh, oh! So they don't help we, you. They help you in some ways, but they're not supposed to because it's like they're in character, and so yeah. it's one of those things like we don't really condone Jedi business, you know, like and all or you know, look fuck face. Yeah, tell me where it's at. Where they go? Tell me where the lightsaber is. But yeah, definitely go because def- that's an experience. And, and you, and so if you're just building one, or if you let her build one, like you can be there with her. We're like, both so gonna do it, and okay, I'm just cool. gonna so, like take my card. Don't tell me how much it costs. Just swipe it. Just swipe it. Wait, 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 really, when you think about it, because like you're basically just buying a lightsaber and you're giving them ten bucks. That's what you're doing. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it's it's fine. Like it's it's one of those things where like I'm I'm not going to Disney World and like expecting to not fucking blow money. Like I mean, like it's it's like going to the casino and expecting to come home a millionaire. Like you can't right. do that. You have to go with a, an acceptable loss that you this can. This is how much of, money I have. Yeah, I don't like, expect to come back with any. That's, that's I don't. My, it, with my attitude, every time I go to Disneyland and every time yeah. I go to Vegas, and that's how you have to handle it. You know, like and, and the way I look at it, we're not going to Disney World for four days. We're going to Magic Kingdom for one day. And we're we saved a boatload of money by by not going to Disney properties, right? So it, it, we're just gonna have a good week, and I'm I'm super excited to go to Galaxy's Edge. My daughter is like beside herself because like she hasn't gotten fully jumped in the head first into the Star Wars world, but we're going to now. She's got a time limit, right? But That's she's just excited. Is. She's just excited that, like, you know, and as this cheesy as this sounds, like she gets to have some, you know, special time with with just her and and, and I going to yeah. do something together. So she's like super stoked about that, as am I. So I'm pretty pretty pumped. I'm gonna I talk about. This. Go ahead, Nick. go ahead. Yeah, like your like your fast passes. I know do not work for Rise of the Resistance, but you can pay for the fast pass for Rise of the Resistance, which I do recommend doing. I'm not sure what it would be like at night. Well, that's it. I don't think they offer them at night. Okay. But the riders, because they, oh, they, have, they, they sell only a limited amount of tickets for the you, entire. You go park. to the Magic Kingdom, get the new. Is it, it's, G, it's I think it's Genie Pass Genie, or whatever. Genie Plus. Genie yeah. Plus, because we did that. Of course, when <laughs> we when we were there, it first came out, and we had a three year old and we had a four year old, and I'm telling you, it was night and day. It was like a yeah. I didn't even yeah. think it was three yet, and it we were literally walking all. You just walk all the way to the front. And other people are waiting two and a half hours. We're waiting ten minutes, and when oh, you yeah. have young kids, mm-hmm. it's a big deal. It's a yeah. big. But your weather should be pretty good in uh, February. February it be too. It won't yeah. be hot. But uh, it's we, freezing there this week. Yeah, the we had we, we had that downpour when we went to Epcot. I talked about that. Where we were just so I'm like going, can we just fucking go back to the hotel? I am miserable, but I didn't say it because you know, hey, I'm I'm the grandpa. I'm supposed to be positive. I go, this is my shoes are just squishing with water squirting out. <laughs> so uh, I took it because even though we had ponchos, we had jackets, it just was raining. So it's, it's just blowing everywhere. Yeah. I go, this is fucking ridiculous. What are we doing? Let's right. go inside. Let's go inside the shops to get dry. You're getting your $150 a ticket's worth is what you're doing. Jack. I, I said, <laughs> I said, let's go. I said, go home. I mean, go back to the hotel and come back at night. Which we did, but it was so cold at night that that was that one time it was cold, and we were all getting sick from being wet. I'm like going, all right, I'm That's about ready true. to die. I'm about ready to die. From being wet. That's I an old wives' tale. You know, you can't get sick from being wet, right? No. Well, we you all get, got you, sick. You, you get we sick all got from sick. Viruses and bacteria, not from being wet. All right, we were got sick from Disney viruses. There we all go. came back. We all test. We all did COVID tests. Of course, I didn't have it because I have uh, super immunity. But anyway, but uh, I was going to say when we were when uh, you were talking about spending money at Disneyland and not being worried about it, I'm the type of person anywhere else in the world. I'm like, going, how much is this? 
how much is this? Come on. I'm not cheap, but I'm, I'm, oh, dude, I'm, I'm the one bitching about eggs. Are you kidding me? Like I, right. I'm, I'm absolutely that way, but you have to like, so, under, like when you go there, you have to just like, just jump in. Right. You now gotta, my wife, right. my wife, she had, she can't keep money in her hands for like two seconds. It's like, <laughs> Mine too. I mean, she spends money like it, like it's you know, it's just the way she was brought up, and because her mom was the same way. But we go to Disneyland. We take the kids out every year. We take them to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm and all the places out for a week. My wife would be like, "How much is that? How much is that? We have enough money." I go, "We have enough." I would because I, I literally had planned out how much we could spend every day. So when the kids ask, "Yeah, you can have that," yeah, and we also told them. You can't buy anything at the gift shops until the final day. Yep. Because that way, you know. Oh, my kid's not getting shit. She's getting a lightsaber. Like, (laughs) well, okay, that's that's something. You hang up those fucking ears. You're getting a goddamn lightsaber. (laughs) My wife, my wife would just be freaked. How much money? I go. We're fine. Yeah. We're fine. I just don't want to run out of money. I go. We're literally fine. I go. We actually we actually come back with money. The difference between Amanda and Cindy is that my wife would never ask that question. Are we fine? She just keep fucking swiping away. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, back th- back then we didn't have the swiper. Yeah, right. You had the cat. You had cash, so it's like <sighs> I go. No, we're fine. I go. Then we we she go. We try to share a water, and then Jay would go. Jay would go, go, go I, and he'd leave like this much. Well, I go. You realize that was for all of us. He goes. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> So I go, okay, we buy a water for Jay, and then the rest of us would have water we could sip. But it was just like, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I, go, I could never go in the desert with you, Jay. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> I'll be I'll be stoked to hear what you think of the ride, Rise of Resistance, Chris. Oh, I'm man, like, I can't wait. I mean, I, unfortunately, it, I know what happens on it. Like, I was actually, that's oh, you do? Oh, man. Yeah. I, see, I, I kept myself spoiler free, you know, on that one. Well, I, I was watching the, um, the, uh, there's a, a couple of different, documentaries on the disney plus app where it's like you get the the imagineers imagineering story well, yeah, you see scenes but you don't actually know the ride right no it's true i don't have okay. i don't have the whole thing yeah like but, i knew a few scenes yeah. but watching how they made those things like yeah. just the actual like engineering behind building those rides is it's fucking amazing, unbelievable what will well, well, blow your mind i won't i won't spoil you at all but like the first thing you do is like you, you step into me. No, like the first thing you do is you step into this like transport ship yeah. that's just like on the ground. Like you're outside and you step into this ship and you're like, oh, cool. And then, you know, it does like the typical like fair type ride where like you have a screen in front of you, one behind you, and it kind of like shakes a little bit, you know, and you're like, this is bullshit, man. Like, and you think that is this the ride? You have no idea. Wait, Hollywood, St- Hollywood Studios at, is at Disneyland, Disney, the whole world Disney thing, right? He's going yeah. to the world. Yeah. You got to go, you got to go in the, uh, the, uh, the rock and roll roller coaster, the uh, Aerosmith roller coaster. Oh yeah, that was. Is that open? It, you, one, it wasn't one, weird. One, one, was one of them is closing. Rock and yeah. roll roller coaster, but Aerosmith. Anyway. But yeah, anyway, but Chris, but the whole time when that's going, you think this ride's gonna suck, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's just like, Ooh! you know, like yeah, I, it's, did, it's, I, I didn't, I didn't go on it. We let the, we let the uh, our daughters and. Son in law go on it. We watched the kids, so I didn't go on it. No. Oh, it. shit. I'm going to just get to go on it. It's closing on February 20th. Why are they closing it? Um, They're doing a refurbishment for it, yeah. I guess. It was closed when I went to. Like, I didn't get to ride it either. It's, it's, my, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite roller coasters. I think I've been on it actually. I think I, I think I went. So there, I, I told you guys before. Like before, I worked for my current job. I was a as a sales rep for Johnson and Johnson. I think we had mm-hmm. a um, we had a, like a sales meeting down there. And, and on, my, and on my last day, I pushed my flight back and I I did um, what the hell? I, I park hopped. I went from Animal Kingdom to Universal and and Epcot all in one day. <laughs> it was oh no dude it was right it was awesome i, no, I, went I, the, I, don't, uh, I don't kingdom sucks they have a great roller coaster i mean i mean the, the rest you you, you you mentioned that twice now but i i think that it I thought sucks. It was awesome. like <laughs> i had it, a good time this is the problem the paths are too narrow you're like running into everybody you can't get you can't move around because it's so crowded <clears throat> there's one good roller coaster the stupid safari safari thing 
literally breaks your back as you're bouncing around to the thing. It just it sucks. All right. Well, sorry you had that experience, Jack. I would. I I, re- I highly recommend if you're going to go there, don't go there. But then anyways, so I also went to Epcot and I also went to Hollywood Studios in that one day. And I kind of just went like crazy. It was fun. Hollywood um, Studios has a great uh, like slushy thing. It's like it's got you can put rum in it and all these different things. It's it's oh, it's kind of nice. I can, it's right by it's right by the uh, Tower of Terror and the uh, the Tower of Terror. The last time we went there, it wasn't open. Well, it's no longer I, the Tower of Terror. It's Tower of the Galaxy or like Galaxy. It's it Guards of the Galaxy right now. Guard, yeah, it wasn't open. We they were building, they were refurbishing it. It was bullshit. But uh, yeah, they have a great. It's a rum and I got rum. I forget what it, was, what it was, but it was quite good. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty pumped about it. And, and I, anything you know, I was watching the Jungle Kingdom. I was. I watched the Imagineering story with 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 Emma on a bunch of it. So she's getting all pretty excited about doing this stuff too. So she's. She says of right now she wants to do Tower of Terror, but I can guarantee fucking to you that she's gonna chicken shit out right before we go there. <laughs> no, it's a great, it's a, it's a, it's a scary ride, but it's a great ride. I, I, there's, there's YouTube channels you can watch, like yeah, mouse, they, uh, mouse ears or something like this. My daughter yeah. watched them all, but I, I didn't like this one girl because I said, I guess she's just, she's just too pasty. She's got to put some makeup on her. <laughs> so <laughs> I, 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 I do believe that it's actually still the um, Hollywood Tower Hotel um, ride. Hmm. Really? With the uh, it hasn't Twilight changed Zone? Over. Yeah, it hasn't changed over. Then yet. why was it shut down when I was there? I don't know. The only, the only ride when I went to Disneyland um, in July that I loved is that when I was younger but hated as an adult was Space Mountain. Because you know when you're a kid, you know, you have a lot smaller center of gravity. So being jerked around in the dark, you love it. But then as an adult, <laughs> I'm sitting going like, I'm, I'm uh, going to vomit. Get me off this fucking thing. <laughs> being jerked <laughs> around in the dark. Mm. The I mean, it's, 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 the, yeah, it's, it's fun, you know, in, in some context, but not all context. Yeah. Hey, now, I like the Matterhorn. No, the Matterhorn problem is it's so it's so old. Oh, oh, literally. It's rickety, yeah, it's all just. I, I mean, I get, I get off of my back. I have a bad back anyway. So I get off and I go, I can't walk. They did change. They got paralyzed. <clears throat> when the last time you went, Jack, they had changed the Matterhorn. The the sleds are more than they, what they used to be, where you're like, you know, actually like a sled. Whereas in these are more, they have Carts. some pads, but it's yeah, it's not. I, I saw something. The reason there's water at the end was to slow it down. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I, and speaking I of water, Splash Mountain is going to be closed. That's being. I'm not a big fan. Of, I don't like getting redone like, to be. I don't like getting that Splash Mountain anymore. The, yeah, yeah, it's 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 closing down. To, they're going to make it the uh, Princess and the Frog, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I I don't like to go on those rides because I get up, especially early in the morning. I don't want that dirty water all over me. It's cold and. Oh, and also, Chris, a tip: um, they do have lockers uh, in um, uh, Galaxy's Edge. So, like, if you buy a bunch of shit, you know, you can put your stuff away and keep going. So, Lightsaber sized lockers, yeah, like everything. I forget, I think it's in the area where you could buy your stuff room. last. I think it's in that in that room. Like, you go in there and uh, you just like give them your lightsaber, give them everything, and then like, hey, and they'll give you a ticket. Oh, cool, then, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, definitely do that. No, no, that one. That's absolutely. Good. That's a great, great, you know, we should do an RCD cast at Disney World. Let's go. So, you think you get it sponsored or just, just do it live right from inside the park? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm call Walt tomorrow. Yeah, it's called Bob, call Disney. Yeah, call I'd like to come down and because do, those those YouTube channels that they make a lot of money just going around tell do this and do this and you know do this yeah. and you know go this ride, but you know most of the time then you're telling right. people the secrets and then everyone knows the secrets and then it no longer is a secret. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Like I said, that like, when we first did the genie pass, that it was like I said, it was the people looking at us like, where the fuck are they going? Yeah, because it was the old, it was the old. Uh, uh, when you get the little ticket, a little VIP thing, whatever it was, fast pass tickets, and people look at what are they? Because no one knew about it. My right. daughter, because she watched all those YouTube channels, knew about it. And like I said, I go because I've always said I'd gladly play extra, not to have to wait in line for two hours. Of course, we were going to line ride after ride, and you could. It, it wasn't one of these things where you, it was with the uh, the uh, express pass where you had to. Oh, I got my ticket now. Now I got to wait four hours for the next one. It it worked the whole thing. Now you could pay extra yeah. for the you know the X. You pay a little extra for the the rides you're talking about. 
But it, it, like I said, when you have young kids, it's a must. I mean, I don't know how long the lines are now. Yeah. But and, we and, went on the uh, Rakatui ride or whatever it was. It, that was when it was it, Rakakuni. Yeah. Rakakuni, whatever it is. It's pouring down rain. The line was like two and a half hours long for the people in the rain. And there are only like four umbrellas people could stand under. We literally waited like 10 minutes. But of course, then you go in there and they spray you with water. I'm like going, huh. come on. Is this a cruel joke? Well, and, and for, one of my coworkers is telling me as well that um, if you have the opportunity to do it, you can do it without kids or whatever. But if you do like the Magic Kingdom at night after hours, it's amazing. He they mm-hmm. said because with such a big park after hours, they only sell like a, a limited amount of, of tickets. He was saying like he was like at some points he was he and his wife were the only people on the ride nice, like, nice. when they went. Like it was like they just went, went just repeat rides, repeat rides. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, even though Galaxy, um, Galaxy's Edge and Hollywood Studios is a bit smaller than, um, than uh, Magic Kingdom, I'm assuming it's going to be a bit busier than that. Um, but I'm still hopeful that you know. Well, I can the, imagine February can't be, be that short. Wouldn't be that crowded. It's school vacation week. Oh, school vacation. Oh, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but the, the good part about the after, after hours, they only sell a limited amount of tickets just to make sure it's like a, a that's a, experience. that's a cool thing. The after hours thing. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty pumped. You can get some oranges there right by the uh, tower terror. It's like the California part. They have oranges and uh, all that stuff. They have, they have oranges in Florida too. Yeah. I, I mean, pred- so pred- sun, predominantly sun, well, in Florida. They, they still make sun kiss. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Sunkiss is still a thing. I think the they majority still... of oranges in our country come from Florida, don't they? Yeah, I think so. Uh, California but, used to have a lot of oranges. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, Southern California has a lot of oranges. Yeah, but they're they're shitty. <laughs> I mean, the that was a I... be- yeah. when I was a kid before the the opened up. I think it was the five. You have to go to the one on one. You had to go through the orange groves, mm-hmm. and you could sm- you could literally smell the oranges when you're going there. <laughs> then they got the five and made it. Why would I go this way when it's faster to go this way? But Right. No, like Red Redlands, where I used to live when I first moved to California, that's all it is is orange groves. But they yeah. were they're not they they told you that it's like these oranges are not for eating. You know, they're for juice or other things, but like they're not good to eat. And I was like, Oh, okay. So I assume really? it's like I, I assume it's like all minute made and they add you know the sugar to it or something. So it's already frozen, is that the thing? They had the they had to I squeeze have, it. They still make those things where you have to squeeze the orange the orange out of the uh, it's concentrate and you have to Oh right. Still yeah. They still make those, yeah. They still make those. I haven't had that since I was probably, you know, the kids were little. We'd get the thing to squeeze it out and make the orange juice. <laughs> Add water. Right. There you go, kids. What's well, better than tang? I tang like tang. Is... Yeah. You know, it's funny. I a few years ago, I I was getting the this the stuff to different water flavor water, and I saw mm-hmm. tang. I go, they quit making it actually. Yeah. I loved tang as a kid, so I I start I go, this sucks. No, that was good. That's the squirt bottle. Or no, I'm, it was the it was the actual crystals. Oh, the crystals. You, oh, okay. And you put it in there. I mix it up. I go, ah, this tastes horrible. <laughs> but as a kid, I love tang. Because my mom would go, drink your tang. You need the vitamin C. Every grown boy needs tang. I said, okay, yeah, I do that. <laughs> but it was when I was a kid. It was the drink of the astronauts. The astronauts drink right. tang. Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> well, if. if Neil Armstrong can drink Tang. I can drink Tang. It's just a bunch of bullshit. That was a Coneheads reference, by the way. I I, I recognized it. Okay. We're from France. <laughs> we come from France. <laughs> they have such- our... Anyway, anything else we got going here? Anything else going on? No, I'm fucking dying. I have like I'm... the longest like sickness that's not COVID. It's just pissing me off. Like I'm at the point now. Like just fucking give me a positive test so I can. Oh, you have you have what I had. You have what I had. It sucks, dude. Like I'm dying. I had it for uh, what two and a half months, and I, I I'm, I'm now I it's safe to say I beat it. It's done. I haven't coughed. I've, I've actually put on five pounds because I lost all that weight. Because I was just throwing up, <laughs> just and I didn't want to eat. I, did, I was like, I feel like crap. I don't want to eat. So you go, what do you want to eat? I go, nothing. Just leave no. me alone. I, I feel like shit. I don't feel like eating. But now I'm back. I feel great. Yeah, I'm gonna. Are you are you, are you, are you coughing? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the cough is the worst. It sucks. Coughing. At night, but you know, if too. you're coughing at night, I'm serious. 
Put some Vicks on your feet. Vicks vapor up on, on your toes. You're, you're talking about not, not your toes, bottom, bottom of your the feet. Toe, not your bottom of your feet. Not your toes. You're doing it wrong. Put it on the. You, I think your you're doing feet. it wrong by putting your feet. Like there's there's literally no biological reason whatsoever why that would help your uh, cough. It it works. I'm telling you, it works for me. I mean, it works for me when I put it on my chest. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. So many I don't know who you are. There. I put it on my chest. Yeah. Put, put on my chest with some steamer fix. on my chest. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Give it up for KG. Give it up for me. Sorry, that was a little Tenacious D uh, interlude. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. That was nice. That was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. My throat's been scratchy the last couple of days because I'm <clears throat> in 50 degree house and then uh, uh, I'm not sleeping with my humidifier. So I'm going to sneak my humidifier into <coughs> my neighbor's house tonight and sleep with it because it's just so dry. Wait, what? You're going, you're sleeping at your neighbor's house? Yeah. I can't sleep here. There's no heat, no well, water. You didn't, tell, you didn't tell us you're sleeping in your neighbor's house. Yeah. My, neighbor, my neighbors are cool. Like they're, uh, they have like a whole separate level. It's like their guest house in their house. And so I, I have a side entrance. I just walk in, go down, and bed and shower in a kitchen. It's not That's really. awesome. Yeah. But I'm, 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 I'm not going to stay there too much longer. I don't want to overstay, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. My wife's probably going, Is he ever going to leave? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're super chill. Um, That's pretty cool. Are, are they the older people or are they? Yeah. I mean, I'm the youngest person by at least 20 to 30 years in this neighborhood. They're probably really? in their. I'd say they're probably like early seventies. Well, that's uh, pretty cool. That's that's some good neighbors because you don't get that nowadays. No, I mean because I basically I had texted her first, you know, because I knew that um, Terry's her name um, that she would respond, you know, when I wasn't sure what was going on, and she's like, "Oh, we're she thinks because she thinks you're hot." <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> just what I want. Uh, uh, anyway. you're, you're single. Uh, anyway, so uh, Nancy, yeah, but she oh, immediately Nancy, she, uh, yeah, Nancy. <laughs> don't do drugs. I love, I love a good silver Just vixen. Do Terry? Uh, <laughs> don't uh, say no. Yeah, they they immediately offered you know to let me stay in their their guest level of their home, and and uh, I thought originally I'd be there like two or three days, and I've been there a week now. And, wow! Uh, but like I said, when, I, I, do they when, feed you? They they fed me twice. Uh, but uh, most of them, I just you know, make something here, and you, know. you, you don't wake up and go, "What are you guys doing in my room?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like four jokes that I've just decided to not use. No, tell us, tell us. And, and, and honestly, I think it's I'm probably a better person for doing that. No, I'm, tell I'm, us the I'm, joke. I'm, I'm maturing. We're not going to really get to Dis- We're not going to be able to do a podcast from Disney World if you don't tell us tell the truth. Yeah. But you know, if it was if this was Matt telling the story, like we'd be pulling triggers right and left. Oh my god, <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Well, I was going to say. <laughs> uh, um, so if you. <laughs> no. Uh, anyhow, but uh, yeah, like they're they're cool. And uh, like I, I'll probably give it the rest of this week. And then after that, I, call, I hate call it when them. the dentures come off. That's the. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call I'll, the. Uh, I'll put it in the private chat. I'll call the adjuster and and uh, and be like, uh, "I have time to put me in an apartment." So your heat's right. not working because of the water leak. Yeah, because I have an old boiler radiator system. Oh, okay, so, that's right. That's the one that burst, right? Yeah. So like, I the uh, we did have a water. I had two water pipes burst, but also, <laughs> you know, the the, the, the old the, the old floor. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the old floor, you know, uh, wants to go along the edge of the wall. And so yeah. the pipes are on the outsides of the wall, which they no longer do anymore because they'll freeze. And that's exactly what happens. So there's like little breaks in these these smaller heating pipes. <laughs> I'm listening to you, but Chris yeah, is... No, I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh <laughs> like two two years ago, me would have said that one out loud. But I'm not gonna say that. But now you now you you matured more. You got I'm two matured. kids. I'm matured. Yeah, yeah you, you, know. you got to set an example. I've got glasses now. <laughs> exactly. You have to be prim and proper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my chair squeaks. <laughs> I can't help it. It's an older chair. <laughs> uh, you need some lube on that thing. Uh, All right, this is probably a good place to stop the show. 
because it's not going to go anywhere better than right now. Anywhere Is there any in a better way place. I can take the private chat and post it what you said? Nope. Nope. There's no, no that's way. Why it's private, Jack. That's why it's private. I could copy and paste it and put it in there, but no, nah, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I'm good. Um, do we know what I mean, day we tell listeners what we're recording next week? Oh, let's have a. Um, actually, what? Oh, what day? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I can I know I have a demo on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. I think. So my so my work schedule is actually pr- fairly standard, um, or it's not standard, fairly uh, regulated. Um, no, I can't. I can't not hear this cheap chair squeak. <laughs> I think Wednesday I'm uh, fine. I'm not working in my normal store right now, so Are I'm you still uh, the other one. Yeah, reopening up our, our our store that was shut down for a while. You can join Miami Mike and I tomorrow as we discuss the playoffs. On playoffs, Crackpot Sports. The link will be on Facebook and Twitter. Join us live at 9:30 p.m. as we see who. I already got one loss because I picked the. Uh, um. I picked the I picked Minnesota. I didn't want to because Minnesota they're either good or they're not. Fucking I, I don't understand quarterbacks. It was fourth and eight. Why do you throw it four yards? You need eight yards for a first down. Why do you throw it four? Right. Anyway. Uh Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is good for me. Okay. We can't see what you're doing. No, I'm just putting my phone back up. Just put his phone oh, back okay. up. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you guys pick a day. I'm good any day. Probably going to go with Wednesday, but we'll see. See you then. All right. So people listening at home, Wednesday could be the day. Wednesday night we'll be ready to go. I'll put up a link in that. You guys like this new one? I was going to put names by, you know, I was going to put like, but I I didn't like either. I go, I didn't want to be a chicken. I didn't want to be meat. And I didn't want to be sausage. So What was Terry like? Who? What is Terry like? <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> With the special sauce. Yeah, she's definitely kind of a sausage gal. Yeah, I think so. Hey, get over here, baby. <laughs> fucking hit hit end before something bad happens. We'll but anyway, yeah. that's all we got. We like this. <laughs> we'd like to. <laughs> We'd like to thank our patrons. We thank all our patrons, but we're going to thank Tack. Wait, I'm sorry. We're going to thank. God, fuck this. We're going to thank Eckhart Richter Glaffler, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with a plan, and Ed the Creepy Letter Carrier. Thanks for what you do. And thanks for everybody who listens to us and joined us live. Sorry we scheduled this on Cowboy Night, but this was the only night that Nick could record, right? Yes. Yes. So it's like we knew we missed last week. Because there were some certain things that happened and, you know, unavoidable, unavoidable. And, you know, we didn't want to make Terry unhappy. So we decided to come back Monday night and record. But anything else you guys want to add? No, I'm good, man. All right. Hasta luego and goodbye. See y'all. Bye, Terry. <laughs> we'll be there in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah.